Hey Leos, welcome to your reading. Like I told the other signs, I did the get ready video with me and just the thinking out loud. So I thought, let me give them what they actually come to my channel for. So let me see. Um, Leos, what's going on with you guys? I hope you're well. And of course, I'll leave all the information of what decks I use in the description box and how to contact me for personal readings. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe. Oh, fertility. This is the empress in the normal deck. So um, be careful. You may be expecting. Um, you may know somebody who's expecting. Could be a new soulmate coming into your family here um, with the empress. I'm focused on her arms there. So yeah. Um, I feel like this is good energy coming in for you. Really connect with nature right now. It is your season while I'm recording this, but really connect with nature. You will grow so much. You'll get so much from it, so much energy drawn into you to be able to carry that with you for the rest of the year to help you manifest, bring lots of abundance into your life here. This is new babies, um, new money, new opportunities, all things like that being drawn towards you now. And like I said, being out in nature, you'll absorb that energy so you get so much more, right? Like to be able to keep going. I feel like even, um, I feel like if you do it correctly, like meditating with the trees, this could last you like three years of good luck coming in. Um, trapped in fear. There's only you holding yourself back here. Um, this can be, you've got somebody, you're calling in a soulmate energy with this empress energy and somebody's obsessing about you. Um, but if you're holding yourself back and wondering why none of this abundance is coming towards you, just go for a walk in nature, okay? Um, and realize it's only your mind that's making you think you're trapped. Um I feel like a lot of people might be experiencing this during lockdown, but there's so much good out there once you get out into nature and just feel free, just breathe out there and then we can see we're not trapped and see, okay, maybe these thoughts are negative. If we go through depression and things like that, we want to try and eat better, we want to try and exercise better and really get out and get our endorphins flowing so that we are not maybe sat still okay so if you're feeling like it's your birthday season but not feeling that great get out there people want to spoil you people want to you know adore you look at this leo hair here here you know on the empress people just really want to be like hey they want to be having fun with you they want to be next to you victory and success here okay um so this is like forward movement you've got this so don't worry about it you'll overcome this overthinking if it's you that's doing it very quickly actually some of you could be traveling um some of you some of you are thinking you're not going to have the opportunity to meet somebody again or have a child and you will hear okay so let me see here soulmate separation and you deserve love so it seems like some of you are separated from your soulmate, which is causing you this fear, this holding you back, this anxiety, this, ob if not, it's your soulmate feeling like this about you, this obsession, um, thinking about you constantly. I mean, obsession, right? Thinking about you constantly. Um, you're in separation from them, probably now because you're in this empress energy that they just can't seem to get you out of their head. Um, if you want to get back with this person, you have a very good opportunity to move things forward with them. You just have to understand you deserve love and you are lovable. So it's about learning to love yourself there. Um, but time apart is on the horizon for you and your partner. So maybe um, if you're in a relationship, you might go through a separation there from your soulmate. Maybe, or hopefully, it's just traveling um, because some of you are traveling here. You might have anxiety about traveling as well with the whole world situation. Um, but don't be, okay? 
it's holding you back for no reason once you've experienced the travel or the movement you'll start to feel amazing and everything will just start flowing towards you here okay wonderful ace of pentacles this is a windfall of money um a pay rise success um with the uh empress card here it's beautiful money <clears throat> beautiful opportunity maybe even buying a new car money um buying a new house here good money coming in if you get out there and do the work let nothing hold you back because you know fear and doubt kill more things than uh failure ever did uh, so the Knight of Pentacles here, you could be dealing with an earth sign or an earth sign could be coming towards you here who is your soulmate, who is thinking about you a lot because we can be separated from a new soulmate because we haven't met them yet. But this is somebody who is thinking about you a lot. So I feel either a soulmate you don't know is calling you in because they feel ready. Um, and that's what's going on here. They're coming towards you slowly. So you might have been single a while or you could have kept getting into short term relationships that wasn't working out because this person's coming towards you to lay a pentacle here. If you meet a Capricorn, um, I just did the Capricorn video. Um, they might end up asking you to marry them. Six of Cups. Again, this can be somebody returning from your past. I said, you know, this is separation here, um, an obsession, thinking about somebody. You need to understand that, you know, you're on your path, they're on their path. And it's, it's not a sprint, you know. It's not a sprint. This journey that we call life. You don't want to sprint to the end of it. You want to take your time, enjoy the views and gain as much as you can, right? Um, but this is somebody from your past returning to your life here. Let me see. It might not be an earth sign because even Scorpio Deacon 1 is indicated here. Um, but it just might be how slow of an energy they were moving towards you here. It wouldn't surprise me if uh, some of you hook up with an Aries as well. Ten of Swords. It seems like an end of an era. Don't know why, but it just seems like it's an end of an era. So something major is going to change here, come into effect for you. So it might even be that if you've been in separation a very long time that's coming to an end here this is an end of a cycle where the worst of it is over huh. okay so we have the high priestess right so trust your intuition if you feel like somebody's missing you here or you feel like i know who's missing me you're absolutely correct because their soul is absolutely crying out for you so if you're single and you don't know anybody who misses you. This is somebody's soul actually crying out for you. It could keep you up at night. So they're coming. Don't you worry here. This is the three of cups. The page of wands. And the hierophant. Another marriage card here. So maybe a Taurus for some of you here. Or like I said another fire sign. Aries indicated here. Three of cups. This is weddings. Births. Good news in general. On its way to you here. I mean, this is a, this is like a new beginning. We have this end of an era, but we have this new beginning. When one door closes, this beautiful door of opportunity opens up for you here. And I mean, look at this. The Three of Cups celebrations, unity, happiness, and this Page of Wands. It's initiations, it's starting, it's excitement, it's passion. It's even creativity here. So somebody might be creatively trying to ask you how to marry them, like on a big balloon or something like that. Um, but this is somebody returning from your past or somebody who you just feel. It's like you, can, you just feel them. But it doesn't have to be the signs I named. Obviously, there's lots of signs that will come out. We just... 
um, you know, I say it because people want me to say it. So let me get your last card here. So you have a beautiful new beginning here of abundance. Right now, if you let this come in, death. This is major changes, an end of an era for you here. Again, indication could be a Scorpio coming towards you, but it's about that rebirth. Remember, with the death comes the rebirth, right? Good luck, guys.